going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to auto auction rebuilds today we are going to take the ford f-150 the 1982 ford f-150 down to the auto spot llc and we're going to see if they can make it look almost new again but before we get started we we'll go feed these fish real quick you can see they're already coming up they're ready they're hungry they're hungry there you guys go all right they look very happy now. All right, let's go check out this truck. I think I've got a, uh, a garage that's full of cars. So I'm gonna have to move some things around to get this one out. Oh, no I don't. Perfect, I can just pull her right on out. There she is, guys. We'll take a better look outside. Um, I think you get a better idea of the condition once we get outdoors, but let me take the plate, put the plate on it. And I've got a mask so I can get an Uber or a Lyft back to the house. Let's get it outside and take a closer look at what she looks like right now. But before we do, how about that Ford Tempo? Wow. Wow. Like, I mean, it, it really looks as good in person as it does right here. Guys, it does. I mean, the paint on this uh, Mako just nailed it. I mean, they nailed the paint job on this one. The color is absolutely beautiful and it's so silky smooth looking like the whole damn car looks like that look at that i mean it's it's beautiful it is beautiful had a lot of people asking me if i was going to take the uh the f-150 and get it painted and and i answered this in previous video but in case you missed it no absolutely not man this is a beautiful truck and it's in original condition the last thing I want to do is uh, is mess that up by painting it. Now she's been sitting in here for a while, so let's uh, let's see how the first cold start works. She's running power window. Booyah! Now I don't think Brian at the auto spa really has any idea how bad this truck is uh he's got his work cut out for him and the, the bed is filthy engine bay is filthy um the interior is filthy and we're gonna leave the headache rack on and i do believe this thing is gone man i do sad sad to see it go but i hope that it enjoys a new life with some people that are going to take really good care of it. like just look at this Look at this, it's, it, it, this thing needs a ton of cleaning. I hope he's not too mad at me, but this is the dirtiest one I've ever brought him. I'll tell you something, I don't know why this truck was parked. I, I don't have a clue. Uh, nothing was wrong with it, other than what was wrong with it from sitting for years and years. It gets down the road just fine. It's got new oil and filter, it's got new tires, and it's got the new brake pads and the new brake caliper and the new brake hose on the passenger front. Got a couple new hubcaps for it. But, I mean, really, this truck didn't need much of anything. It's running on the original fuel tanks, the uh, fuel lines, like the original carburetor, like everything on this truck is still going. And look, the steering wheel is perfectly straight. Look at this. And look at that, look at that speedometer. Everything down there is good. Everything. We have driven it 32 miles now. And this truck has no issues at all. Turn signals work. Even the self-canceling on the turn signals work just fine. And it rides really, really smooth. You would expect an old truck like this, especially one that had been parked for a long time to you know have some problems or, or to not ride very well but this truck this truck is just great man i really 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 love this old girl i hate to see her go but uh she's already sold i think the paint will come mostly back i think, it does too. I think it'll look decent yeah i think it will actually come back we don't ever know until you actually yeah. start on it the the top's obviously a lot worse yes. than the sides. Yeah. Because you actually still have some gloss in there. So yeah. I think this side. I didn't even wash it for you first. Oh, I appreciate it. Nothing. That. Damn, look at this. Yeah, now open the door and, and you'll see uh, 
look around the edges of the doors. <laughs> <laughs> she, she, I think, I'm guessing it was a farm truck, maybe. Yeah, I, yeah. I that would be a pretty solid guess there. Yeah, she's a, she's a little dirty. Slightly dirty. A little dirty. It's got 76,000 original miles though. This is awesome. And it went from being parked since like, what's that date on that tag say, 2013 down there? Oh wow. And I've been driving it ever since. Like No massive leaks? No, like nothing, crazy. nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Surprised there's not a bunch up underneath the dash or something. Are there a bunch up underneath the hood? Oh, you know, yeah, there's a couple. There's a couple. And the guy did ask if we were going to do under the hood. I said, I don't know. I said, I would, I would, uh, shoot. You'd think I'd know where the stupid hood release is on this by now. Oh, you found it. There it goes. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a little dirty. It's a little <laughs> That used to be it the used light. To have a wire. <laughs> yeah, that used to be the light. I think the mice or squirrels or something ate that. <laughs> yeah. But look at the engine, it's still blue under there. Yeah. It's still blue. It's just exceptionally <laughs> dirty. <laughs> this will be a killer turnaround. Yeah. If we don't get stung. I have had nothing come out at me at all. Did uh, you still have the, was it a salamander? What did you find no, in the- No, they died. And swamp thing. Yeah, they died. I'm I'm still kind of depressed over that. Look at this, a jack? Yeah. I put a battery in it. The solenoid because yeah. I broke it. It wasn't actually broken. I broke it. <laughs> I put a caliper on it. Did you put a new was there a new spring for the throttle? Yep, or? there's a new spring for the throttle. And an oil change and new tires. Because <laughs> the old ones were kind of yeah, dry rotted. Yeah, I'm they sure. they rode pretty bad. <laughs> But now, I mean, I've taken it 40 miles now, and, and that's after sitting since 2013, almost a decade. Yeah, I've got that piece. Hopefully, I remember before it I goes it off. off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I really think this paint comes back to a certain yeah, I, type of degree. I, it, like, I mean, know, it's, it's not like, going to. Right, right, right. But nobody's expecting perfection out of this one. I just hate, I didn't want to send it to Mako and repaint it. No! Because this, still, no, it, this has some this? nice patina like to it, man took their fence down and like yeah. welded this up. <laughs> I was going to pull this off and everybody's like, no. no. It's, just like, it's like my Datsun with the little I love, yeah. I love that. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Everybody oh, was like, it's yeah, part it of the truck, made. man. Like, yeah. Literally, they took it off of their fence. Yeah, somebody, this is, this somebody's is heavy. porch is missing <laughs> its guardrail. <laughs> <laughs> and you got a fifth, uh, fifth wheel hookup too? Yeah. And I even pulled a trailer with it once. I pulled my trailer I with it and it did it. Thing. It's still got the spare tire carrier under there. I'm not sure why they decided to just throw the spare tire in the bed, but you know. That's a solid looking truck under here. It re really is. Like. Where did you find that at? Uh, this one was at Copart. Yeah, I got it for 725 bucks. And I knew I could bring it back to life. I knew I could bring it back to life, man. Well, just wait to see what we can do. <laughs> yeah, I may have to, I may have to, uh, I may have to send that dealership his money back. <laughs> Yeah. No, I can't because I got something. I got something so much bigger, what, uh, figuratively and literally, in the works. Uh, <laughs> they both work, and I filled both of them. My little Dodson has dual gas tank. Somebody put an extra gas tank in uh -uh. there, and they upfitted with the original one just on the other side. So this thing, I'm pretty sure, could make it halfway across the. Are you kidding US. me? Yeah, look at this. Man, I love this thing. I see, it was raining yesterday or the other day. I didn't want my seals. If you look over here. Oh yeah. So this is the factory filler. They also make a factory cutout so you don't have to remove the bed to change out the fuel pump. How nice is that? Literally, you can get take that really? off. Really? You got your fuel pump right there. This is the filler net cover so you don't have to remove the bed. How like thoughtful. I don't think anybody's that? ever done that. No. So you've got two gas tanks on this thing. Yeah, yeah, with 90 I love this. horsepower, I think. I love uh, this truck, I man. Know. I love how it shines. Yeah, it's that patina. I mean, so this is all the original paint. Yeah. We just went in and polished it, and then I put a ceramic coating on top of it. And I think I did this like wow. three years ago. And I don't wash it. I don't do like it. Literally, just sits outside, and I putz it around. 
Yeah, the whole damn thing just. <laughs> yeah, I just I, I love the patina. Yeah. What a beautiful truck. Well, it's a brand new day. The pool is finally back up and running again. I'm very happy about that. It's pretty nasty though, because we just had a lot of storms. I mean, a bunch of storms. Uh, it's been uh, it's been a rough night. We were actually filming at AR headquarters yesterday to do some videos on the Plymouth Colt and the weather started turning on us they were talking about baseball size hail so we left we got we got out of dodge man and uh came back up here to the city and then late last night i don't know somewhere around 10 o'clock last night or so the weather alarm started going off and it came on telling us that there were uh there was a tornado in Paul's Valley that was tearing stuff up. Well, Paul's Valley is right down the road from fires from AAR headquarters. So needless to say, I got real concerned. We turned on the news and started watching the radar map and everything. And uh, sure enough, uh, the news came on and said that tornado was headed right through Byers and was telling everybody to be in their tornado shelters and uh, man, I hope everybody's okay out there. I haven't been able to get out there and check anything out as of yet. For now, I've got, uh, I've got several appointments today. I just don't have time to get down there, but I am going down to Byers tomorrow and I will check on the house, the shop, and uh, you know, neighbors and everything. Hopefully everybody down there is doing okay. Uh, definitely concerned. Um, We'll just, we'll just have to wait and see. But for now, we are swapping out cars with the Autospot LLC. We are taking this one to him, which is filthy. Uh, I'm only gonna have him do the interior of this. Oh, sounds like that battery's getting weak. There we go. She's all right. She's fine. I'm not putting any more money into you, dang it. There we go. All right. It's time to take this down to the auto spa. We're picking up the truck, man. And I, I'm going to tell you right now, if you if you don't follow me on Instagram, man, you should. <laughs> because I've already posted some preview pictures of what the truck looks like. I feel like I sold myself really, really short on the truck. And, uh, look, I'm a man of my word. That truck, honest to God, as good as it looks now, you guys will see in just a minute, I probably could have sent that truck through auction and pulled at least five grand out of it. At least five grand out of it. Um, but, you know, that that's not how I do things, man. You know, I feel like the gentleman offered me a fair price, especially considering he's got to pay for shipping uh, up to New York. You know, that's not going to be cheap. So he spent some money on it, and I think it's going to a good cause, man. Him and his son are going to, they're going to rebuild it. Remember, I sent it to a dealership. I sold it to a dealer. I did not sell it to an individual. I'm going to get a bunch of people really mad because you sold it to an individual. No, I didn't. I sold it to a dealership, and uh, he's going to rebuild it with his son. And I think that's a good place for it to go. And uh, he was honest with me. He told me, hey, man, I'll send you the money. He sent me the money, and it's a done deal. You want to know how much I sold it for? Wait till the end of the video. I'll tell you how much I sold it for. Let's get out of here. Let's get down to the auto spa and uh, let's see what this truck looks like. I think you guys are going to be thoroughly impressed. Well, we made it. And let me tell you, I love the little cup holders up here, man. How perfect. And uh, I can see barely the F-150 right in there, guys. So uh, he's going to work on this and I'm going to take that one home. This one's pretty nasty. I'll be surprised if all this comes out, but shut the headlights off shut her down and you know what my next favorite part is look at this the seat belt right here oh yeah oh yeah and that horrible buzzer man all right let's go uh let's go take a look at the f-150 i'm turning into a 90s car lot man that's what's happening you and me both <laughs> She's pretty dirty on the inside, though. One owner too. Yes, is another one owner. Now we got we got some friends over here. Uh oh. A little cockroach action. Ew, gross. I've put almost 500 miles on this now. No problems. No. Yes. Other than it needs a motor mount or two and 
probably wouldn't hurt to give it some shocks and just say, you know, minor stuff, nothing, yeah, just normal, just nothing you wouldn't normal. expect from a, from a, okay. So today a car with 75,000 miles on probably wouldn't need and it anything. And a rear back seat. Yeah. And they all fold individually and they scoot up. Like you can scoot that the seat <laughs> you're in. You can fold all the seats down into a big cargo area. You can fold them down so that you lay back and have like a couch back there. Mobile detailing rig right here. <laughs> hey, I'll sell it to you cheap. My buddy uh, touched up. So it's been an Oklahoma car. Yeah, too. it's whole life. It's whole life. So it's got no rust, nothing. I never even heard of one of these. Doesn't leak anything. It's, it's got the uh, imported for Plymouth. Yeah. It's got a Mitsubishi 4G63 engine really? and transmission. And my buddy touched up uh, all of this was nice. faded real bad. So Heck he just yeah. painted this yesterday. This is a pretty cool little car. It's man. weird. It's weird enough it kind of makes it cool, I guess. Wrap it in like hot pink vinyl. Oh my or goodness. Something just loud and stupid <laughs> on it. This one's hailed up too. This yeah. <laughs> hey, Oklahoma car. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Oklahoma you car. You know it came from Oklahoma. Yeah. Yeah, this has got hail damage man, bad. We still got our real bad. <laughs> stickers on there. Isn't that the last year they did them? 2001? I wasn't even driving. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. Well, you make me feel real old then. All right, so we had to drop the Colt off. It's over there now, and, and it's going to get cleaned up. And then we got to the truck, man, and this thing has just blown my mind. Now, keep in mind, the sun is not out. It's a very overcast, nasty, cloudy day, so she's not shining near as much as she would if the sun was on it. But wow, what a night and day difference on this truck, man. And I've had uh, three different people coming over wanting that car. Like they want that car. I don't know what it is about the little Colt, man. <laughs> I really don't, but she's a hot commodity item. This truck, I can't believe how, how it came out. I, I am so blown away. Now, it wasn't cheap, guys. It wasn't cheap to get this kind of detail work done. It's got a coating on it and everything. She looks nice. She looks real nice. Let me get you a little closer so you can see. Look at that shine. Look at that shine in that paint. Even the bed. I mean, wow. And then this old school kind of off-white paint. Beautiful. Um, had a lot of people ask if I was going to take this off. No, no, I'm, I'm leaving it. The interior, I mean, wow, guys. Wow, you remember all the, the, the muddy, whatever those are, mud daubers or whatever they are? It's all cleaned up. Look at this. Look at this. She cleaned up so nice. Look at this seat. Wow. So I'm sure y'all are wondering, how much did it cost? Because this was bad guys let me tell you how long it took him just on the hood just on the hood remember labor is not cheap just on this hood was two hours they spent two hours just on the hood um, this is a tough one and it's a big vehicle she's a big girl look at that the original Ford floor mat right there they did such a good job look underneath look at this what a beautiful beautiful old truck all right so the reveal, how much did it cost to get her detailed? 500 big ones. That's right, $500. I know, when you're talking about a truck that uh, you paid like, I think my winning bid was $775. You know, $500 for a detail, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money, but you get what you pay for. And I wanted to make sure that this truck got to its destination looking as good as it possibly could and uh the gentleman over here at the auto spot llc absolutely did that they really did they knocked it out of the ballpark on this one guys but then again they always do the auto spot llc look at this this is all covered in mud and everything like they even got down into the pockets into the pockets unreal unreal i gotta give a major shout out to the auto spot llc they perform nothing short of a miracle on this old truck, man. It's beautiful. Now, if you guys are wanting to know how much we sold it for, I told you we'd get to that at the end of the video. Let me uh, let me get this thing back to the house and I can tell you what we sold it for. And at some point, we'll do a profit or loss on it as well. I know you guys love those. I, I'm just, I can't believe it came out this good. Like this is a truck that I would not paint. 
I would not paint it. Uh, no, it's not perfect. The paint's got, you know, there's little, little nicks and little scratches, and then you get to the bed. Obviously, it's been used, you know. You can't detail this stuff, you know what I mean? That, that doesn't come out, but I think that it is just so perfect exactly the way it is. It, it, I wouldn't paint it. I just wouldn't. I would not paint this truck. I would leave it original, and I would drive it and enjoy it exactly the way it is and if i hadn't sold it i would definitely be driving this around i know you guys are going to be upset with me why do you sell these they're so rare it's hard to find i get that a lot um and the simple truth of the matter is guys if i don't sell these vehicles then they just sit around they sit at the shop they don't get used and it's a waste of a perfectly good vehicle that somebody else could be utilizing somebody else could be getting some enjoyment out of so I prefer to sell them to people that are going to use them. And let's not forget, if I don't sell them, how do we get new content cars? <laughs> I got to sell these things, guys. We got to move them down the road if we want to bring new content to the channel. So I am going to get this bad boy home and uh, she's going to be on her way out the door very shortly. The shipping company is going to be coming to get it. So uh, let's get to the house and let's go over. Uh, how much I sold it for. Then you guys can tell me if you think I made a bad decision. You know what just occurred to me? We have never had this on the highway. I, I have never had this truck up the highway speeds before. So I figure we'll be gentle. I'm not going to smash on it or anything like that. We're just going to very carefully, very gently run her up on the highway. And uh, let's see how she does, man. So far, we're smooth at 55. We've got to get over a couple lanes here. One more should be good for now. Wow. <laughs> wow. Guys, we're at 65. I can't drive 65. Yes, I can, and yes, she can. She's doing it. Hot <laughs> damn, man damn 65 miles an hour first time on the highway and god only knows how many years right oh wow even the steering feels good guys like the steering isn't loose you know how trucks get old and the steering gets real sloppy not at all man the steering feels really good in this thing really good unreal what what a Oh, I'm, I'm kicking myself for selling it now. I'm kicking myself for selling it. It's got an overdrive transmission. RPMs are relatively low for the speed we're going. Ah, uh, this one is hurting. And when I tell you what I sold it for, you guys are you guys are gonna you're gonna you're gonna thrash me in the comment section. You are you're going to totally blow me up in the comments for what I let this thing go for. I let it go way too cheap. I let it go way too cheap. Oh well, let's get the rest of the way home, guys, and uh, I will reveal the magic number. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we made it. Why are those cars still sitting there, man? Insurance auto auction was supposed to pick those up a uh, long time ago. I'm going to go ahead and put this in the garage. I don't want to risk any hail or anything else happening to it since she's all nice and clean. Well, if she was nice and clean, I don't want to risk it. I want this truck to get to the new owner exactly the way it is now. Nice and purdy. What a beautiful old truck. I'm not sure what coating they put on it, but whatever it was had to be really, really good because look at this. The hood's not even wet. There's a few water spots, but the hood's not wet. You can see how wet it is outside. Look at the windshield, right? Windshield soaking wet, and the rest of the truck's the same way. She's mostly dry. <laughs> okay, hey, whatever, man whatever she looks good now you guys wanted to know how much i sold it for and, and I, I really am going to just let you guys have at it in the comment section i know you're going to be mad at me but uh i feel like it was a it was an okay deal for me and i think it was a decent deal for the guy that bought it so uh 
here it is. Are you ready? 3,000 buckaroos. Three grand. Three grand. You see the look of disappointment all over my face? Not really. Not really. I'm actually more more worried about what happened to the, the buyer's property to AAR headquarters. I'm actually way more concerned about that than I am uh, the three grand that I could have potentially made extra off of this. See, for me, I'm happy that it's going to a good home. From what I understand, from what I was told, the dealer that bought is going to rebuild it with his son. I've said that a few times now. I think that is great. That's, that's epic. That's a good place for this truck to go. It's going to a good home. Now, could he, if he wanted to flip it and probably make he could make over three thousand dollars profit on this sure he could but if he does it's not my business because that's not my truck anymore all right it's his truck so he can do with it what he wants and you know you got to consider shipping to new york from oklahoma it had to be at least a grand at least a grand so he's got over four thousand dollars into this truck to begin with i didn't know it was going to come out looking that good i i, I had no idea that truck was going to come out looking that nice if i had gotten it detailed before I had sold it to him, I wouldn't have sold it for three grand. I can tell you that now. I would not have let it go for three grand. So I may have learned a lesson here as well. Maybe, you know, when people are emailing me, and I got a lot of emails on that truck, maybe when people are emailing me, before I say, sure, I'll take this amount of money for it, maybe I'll wait and see how it comes out when it's done before I go let them go, right? But whatever, man, I'm happy for him. Hopefully it gets there in one piece. I made sure it's in the garage, it's safe and sound. This is where it's gonna stay until the shipper comes to pick it up. So when it gets on that, when it gets on that truck, it's gonna look just like it did in this video. And if it shows up any other way, not me, man. I made sure to take good care of it so that it would get there safe and sound. Again, I got to give a big shout out to the Autospot LLC. Like they, uh, they spent, they spent a lot of hours, a lot of hours. And I know there's a lot of people going to say $500. Whew, that's too much for a detail. I mean, if you just say it that way, yeah, you're absolutely right. $500 is too much for a detail. But when you really got, when you really take into consideration what that entails, the amount of hours that they spent just on the hood. I mean, imagine that just two, just the hood was two hours alone. You got the whole rest of the truck to deal with. All right. Then you've got the whole interior to deal with as well. They did a phenomenal job. $500 is a very good deal. They also put a coating on it. Okay. The truck is coated as well, which is why it's not you know, got water just all over it. It's got a nice coating on it, which should really help up there in New York. I'm satisfied, I'm happy with everything, and I'm thrilled to death we were able to save another one. Old Bullnose F-150 that we picked up for a winning bid of 775 and out the door she goes to her new home. She's back on the road, and that's what I love about what I do. I love taking vehicles that have been abandoned or forgotten or the owners have passed away and they just get discarded, and I love bringing them back to life. I love bringing them home, seeing if they'll run, then seeing if they'll drive, putting them back on the road, and then seeing them go off to a home that's going to enjoy them. It makes my heart smile. It does. It really just brightens my day to be able to do this, and I got to thank each and every one of you for watching because without you... I absolutely couldn't do this. It's probably a shipping company calling now. I got to get out of here. If you enjoyed the content, hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, on Auction Rebuilds. Until next time, stay safe out there. I look forward to seeing you all very soon in the next one.